you know, there used to be a tradition when somebody passes away, you don't start talking ish about them while the family is still mourning the loss in particular. Even politics used to have a code here, no more. The passing of Representative Jackson Lee, Miss Lee, passed away, family still mourning, far right wing personality, put it at full mass, decided to say very harmful, hurtful, and negative things. Far right internet personality, Laura Loomer is who I'm talking about. So this individual wanted to be known for posting hateful, racist, bigoted remarks about former US House Representative Sheila Jackson Lee. This was shortly after the 74 year old passed away last week. The death of the Texas Democrat and longtime representative was announced by our family on July 20th. We talked about it as well and came one month after announcing she was undergoing treatment for pancreatic cancer. A progressive in Congress since 1995, Jackson Lee championed women and civil rights, law enforcement reform, domestic violence legislation and more. So the far right loony known as Loomer, a 100% Trump supporter and right wing firebrand tweeted about Lee's death the day it was announced, calling Lee a ghetto B word with a low IQ, with millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable. We just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. So Luma tweeted on next quote, even on her deathbed, this ghetto B word couldn't keep President Trump's name out of her disgusting mouth. I'd say rest in peace. But we all know lying Democrats who have destroyed our country are going to hell. Sheila Jackson Lee will be remembered as a destructive force in America and one of the most low IQ members of Congress in the history of our nation. Today she died. Instead of spending her final moments with her family, she was talking ish about Trump on X and spewing more lies. She won't be missed, but I'm sure she will be voting. I'm sure she will be voting Democrat. This November will not, yeah. So Loomer posted the rant in a response. This was an apparent response to a tweet Lee posted on her ex account just before death. Um, the post read, quote, I have no idea what Donald Trump was talking about last night. For more than an hour, he rambled and lied. He is unfit for the presidency. Now, my friends, it's the time to focus on beating him and his project 2025 monstrosity. Enough is enough. Now keep that up for just a moment. She's doing her job. She's on her deathbed, yes. Still doing her job. What is her job? To be a voice of representation for those who elected her. She's also was also a super delegate for the DNC. She's doing her job. What she said is true. The right wing commentator criticized the fact that she decided to spend some of her time still representing the collective voice of her community. But the right wing commentator could not rebut the truth of what was said. So Luma posted the rant in the response and Loomer's response drew obviously backlash and also some MAGA racist bigoted supporters. They are amongst us. Many of whom opposed the comments talked of the right wingers lack of common decency when addressing the dead while several others directly challenged her racism. So Democratic Representative Richie Torres of New York clapped back at her tweeting Laura Loomer, a Donald Trump supporter refers to a black Congress member who passed away as a ghetto B word. These are the words of a rabid racist who represents everything that is rancid and rotten about the far right. There's a special place in hell 
for Laura Loomer. Returning the hell comment back to her. Another ex user, Alex Cole, would list Representative Jackson Lee's accomplishment, accomplishments, background. Sheila Jackson Lee went to Yale. She graduated from the University of Virginia School of Law. She was a lawyer, a judge on the city council, and a congresswoman. But Republicans see a black person and think, ghetto, but don't call them racist. I roll emoji. Okay, there's more. Against the mounting criticism, Loomer only doubled down on her remarks. Loomer would reply to Torres with a quote, Sheila Jackson Lee was a ghetto B word. I stand by what I said, end quote. Several minutes later, she'd expand further on her double down, retweeting Torres's post with the quote, Sheila Jackson Lee was a ghetto B word. I stand by what I said. Why should I soften my language just because she was a black Low Q DEI member of Congress. I don't care what color someone is, but please, for the love of God, be smart and speak proper English if you're paid by my taxpayer dollars. End quote. Loomer is um, a twice failed congressional candidate whose extremist views have repeatedly been promoted by Trump on his social media accounts in the past, including numerous conspiracy theories about the daily January 6th Capitol attack, the terrorist attack. She's also posted anti-Muslim and anti-immigration sentiments. And she spread misinformation about multiple mass shootings. Um, She is seen as a controversial figure, even by MAGA supporters and Republican operatives. But despite their criticisms, the former president still likes her, shows her a lot of favor. She was invited to travel with Trump to multiple events over the years, including a campaign rally in Iowa in January, where he publicly praised her as a quote, a very important person politically, end quote. She was backed by Trump in 2020 when she ran for a house seat in Florida, but lost to a Democrat. She ran again in 2022 for a house seat in a different Florida district, but never made it past her own political primary. Um, So she is the one who is unaccomplished, Her goals have turned into failures. And instead of pulling herself up by her bootstraps and getting on with life, she decides to criticize somebody who has shown significant goal setting and goal accomplishment. But once again, it doesn't matter to people like her what university degrees you may have or what level of education your capacity lends to you. It doesn't matter to her that you have accomplishments in your life. What matters to her is that you're not white. That is the part that matters to people like her. And the reason why this this story is important is because according to Trump, she is important to him. She is important to him. She's not important to me. She may not be important to you, but it becomes required to understand the philosophy of a person by who they celebrate. Donald Trump celebrates this clown. All right, sharing thoughts here. Well, you about said it all. Uh, Representative Jackson Lee uh, was a stalwart, a pioneer, um, highly favored, a powerful voice, and we miss her. She is not silenced though, as her legacy lives on. And among the more ignorant and racist comments was uh, this constant attacking of a very brilliant woman's intellect. Right. right. Okay. I didn't hear her doing that about Lauren Boebert, Marjorie Taylor Greene, who, by the way, could use some grammar lessons. And it's Commander in Chief Marjorie Taylor Greene, not Commander <laughs> and Chief. You don't, yeah. don't even know the title. So yeah. look at home first and leave the representative's name out your mouth. That's right. There you go. All right.